In our last video we introduced the line edit widgets. In this video we're going to add some actions to the um, button that we've got in our window. In fact we're going to add another button in so that one button will clear the text and one button will print the text to um, the console. Okay so let's add our second button and let's make it so our buttons actually do something. So I've got a button that's going to clear our text box and I also want another button B2 which is going to um, print to the console whatever is in that text box. So that's the um, first thing we've got to do. Then we need to add that, not add layout, we need to add that button to our layout and then we change the title. Now what I want to do, I mean I can actually run this now and you can see what happens. I've got this but again they don't do anything. Um, so I need to add in their functionality. Now rather than adding in one function for each button, I'm going to do a single function which is going to check to see what um, button was pressed or which button was pressed and then do something accordingly. So we're going to do um, self b1 dot clipped um, dot connect and then we're going to call a function called self button um, click and that's uh, that one. We're going to have the same thing again. Self B2 this time. Clicked dot connect. And that one's going to be self button click. And that's that one done there. Obviously, now we just need that function. So def button click self. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to find out which button um, sends it. Now there's actually a sender function that um, gets sent along with the event that's got quite a bit of information. Um, so let's get that first of all. So we're going to say sender equals self dot sender. Okay, so here we go. So if sender dot text, it doesn't come up here for some reason, but it's got to be in that form, um, equals print. You see what I've called it up here, print. If it equals print, then I want to print. Um, let's see, what can we say? Um, Okay, we'll just say whatever's in the box. Um, self dot line edit dot text, and then else if it's not um, if it's been clicked. Well, if it's not the print one, then it's got to be the clear one. So let's do self dot line edit. Whoops, line edit dot clear, which is a function that's built in. Um, that's it. So let's see what we've done. We've added in our extra button. We've added in our um, our um, slots here, sorry, our signals here that send them there. And then I've got my slot here, which is this button function, which is going to respond to what we do. So let's run that. Okay, so let's type something here. How are you? Oops, question mark. Clear? Yep, it cleared it. Let's try... I am fine. Print. There you go. Down the bottom here. I am fine. And then we can clear it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about subscribing. I've included a link to the code that I've used in the video below in the description. Stay in infield with Winfield.